G'day YouTube and welcome back to Perfecting Pete. So, new shooting location, new diet, new program, new plan. Before we get into the detail of my new program, if this is your first time joining me, thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like button if you get some use out of the video. Subscribe if you want to see regular videos on my own weight loss and fitness journey and all the tips and tricks that I pick up along the way. Hit up my social media accounts, uh, Facebook and Instagram, um, and leave me a comment if you've got any feedback on the video. So I guess let's get started with why I'm shooting in a new location. I've been talking about it for ages, to be honest. I was getting a little bit bored of shooting in front of a, a green screen with the same old boring background. Even if I go to my uh, YouTube channel or Instagram or Facebook, all of my uh, video thumbnails are all identical with the background. Uh, the only thing that changes is my hair, my facial hair and my clothes. So I thought it'd be time to get out of the study. Uh, it was a little bit boring. So I'm currently sitting in my dining room. Um, Unfortunately, I didn't really realize how much crap I had to lug down a staircase uh, to, to kind of set up to record down here, but um, you get that when you get that. At least it's a little bit more interesting to watch. Um, so anyway, let's let's kind of get stuck into the detail of, of what I wanted to talk to you about today. So, you know, if you've been following the channel, uh, I'm a big advocate for intermittent fasting. Um, I lost a crap load of weight. Um, I can't even remember the number now, but it was like 25 kilos, 40 pounds, 50 pounds, somewhere like that. Um, and it was almost exclusively through intermittent fasting. So I'm a big advocate of, of the program. Um, however, I kind of fell off the bandwagon. Or I kind of fell off the wagon when I moved home. So I'm now living by myself uh, in a new house. Uh, I've, I've really been struggling lately with the, the um, amount of hours I'm doing at work and how frequently I'm away. And I've just, I've found it basically impossible to, to find a rhythm um, where I'm cooking every other night, um, you know, to kind of support that intermittent fasting lifestyle. Um, and I've also struggled to kind of find enough time. Um, you know, I've decided it's, it's kind of time for, for something different. Um, you know, I'm really still motivated to, to lose weight. I haven't hit my, my goals. Um, so I need to get back on the, on the program. So I've decided to do something a bit differently. So I, you know, one of the biggest issues I've got is preparing food, having time to prepare food. If I get home at 7.30 PM at night, usually by the time I've settled in enough to want to start cooking, it's 8 PM. You know, realistically, it's gonna be nine o'clock before I sit down to eat. And most of the time, I just don't have the energy to bother. Um, you know, it's, it's really what's affected me over the last three or four months. But I'm, you know, if I look at my weight curve, cause I am still weighing myself basically every day, uh, you know, it's starting to look like a, a little bit like a slippery dip or a water slide, you know, it was a really great curve down in terms of weight and then it's kind of starting to hook up at the end. So I wanna make sure I lock that down. So, you know, I spent a long time thinking about what I might do differently. Uh, and what I've come up with as, as something to try is um, I'm still gonna do intermittent fasting. So it's gonna be a seven day a week program. It's a 20 hour fast, four hour eating window, but I'm going to use a meal delivery company to deliver freshly cooked, you know, high nutrient meals um, so that really when I get home from, from work, I really just need to stick something in a microwave and I'm still getting the, the nutritional value out of home cooked meals without actually doing any of the cooking. So I'm still hoping that, I mean, I'm hoping that's, that's gonna have all the same benefits of intermittent fasting, um, but take away a lot of the, the issues or the struggles I've been having in terms of just balancing time. So, um, you know, I can't just order meals. I, you know, a meal delivery company isn't really designed for intermittent fasting. Certainly in Australia, I had a look online. I did a lot of research as to whether or not there was a company that would tailor a meal delivery system to, to intermittent fasting, and I just couldn't find anything. So I started looking around for the best rated in terms of nutritional content and value, um, uh, just in terms of, of a standard food delivery company. So, you know, these guys prepare a number of meals they snap freeze them after preparing them and they ship them to your door or in this case, they ship them to a, you know, 100, 150 odd gyms around Sydney. Um, so you can, you know, if, you, if you're not gonna be home to get the delivery, then they'll ship it to a gym. You just can't pick it up at the allocated time. So, you know, knowing that they weren't going to be tailoring, cramming all of my macros into one meal, um, you know, I obviously need to balance my, my food um, around that meal. So, so my plan is, I will get a frozen dinner each night that I've chosen. I've got a rough idea. Like I know, 
I say rough idea. When I ordered it, I knew exactly what the macronutrient contents were of those m main meals. So my plan is to build a intermittent fasting, four hour eating window around that meal that I've bought. So that'll be my main dinner meal. Um, if you've been following me on um, YouTube for a while, you'll know that I have kind of a structured approach to, to intermittent fasting. So, um, you know, I start with a mini meal um, when I first get home from work. So that's kind of where I'm breaking my fasting window. I usually eat something really simple. Um, it's got carbohydrates in it and some protein, but no refined sugar whatsoever, no fat. And it's really just to wake up my metabolism. Uh, I'm extremely sensitive to insulin after a 20 hour uh, fasting window. So I don't want to spike my insulin. And I certainly don't want to pee out straight away because it's going to erode a lot of the benefits I get out of fasting in the first place. So I have a, a small meal, um, some basic carbohydrates, some basic protein, and then 30 minutes later, I'll, I'll do exactly the same thing. Now that kind of kick starts my metabolism and prepares me to eat a proper meal. So typically I'll wait an hour um, to then have my main meal and then maybe half an hour to an hour after that, I'll have a dessert meal where I'm adding a little bit more just to round out my macronutrient intake for the day to make sure I hit my targets. So um, start with, uh, you know, so, so, so that's kind of the high level plan. Food delivered, you know, eat it each night. Um, it's it's pre-cooked pre frozen meals. Uh, and then I will figure out how to balance my carbohydrates, my protein and my fats each day around that primary meal. So to give you a, uh, an idea of my macros, I'm actually just gonna refer to my phone because I've got them written down here. Um, so my, my plan is to eat 182 grams of protein each day, uh, 142 grams of carbohydrates, and 36 grams of fat. Now clearly, um, and I'll refer you to, refer you to uh, my previous video on my macro targets and how I arrived at those macro targets. Um, but in terms of daily intake, it's about 6,700 uh, kilojoules. And I'll throw up what that, what that is in calories uh, at the bottom of the screen. So that's kind of, that's, that's my targets. Um, in terms of my macronutrient intake each day, that's the structure of my plan, uh, you know, in terms of why I think it's going to work, whereas, it ha you know, whereas I fell off the wagon before. What's different about it is really that I've taken all the prep time out of eating. So in terms of how I'm going to balance out that main meal, um, you know, obviously I need a, a good strong source of, of carbohydrates. I need a strong source of protein and I need a, a good source of fat, of good quality fat, essential fatty acids. Um, you know, and quality is really important, which I've talked to to death. It's not just about your total calorie intake. It's also about the quality of the food you're eating to, to maximize the benefits and the nutrients you're getting out of your food. So in terms of how I plan to balance around that primary meal, um, carbohydrates, the easiest way I've found to get um, you know, good quality carbohydrates in a simple package uh, without really adding any fat or protein because it's all about isolating as best I can to make sure I can hit my targets is plain old rice cakes. Uh, I find that, you know, you'll get between seven and a half to 20 grams of, of pure carbohydrates out of a rice cake, depending on if you get the thin or the thick versions. Certainly in Australia, that's how it's sold. Um, you know, and you get a little bit of protein and you, and you get no fat. So that's really nice and simple to add, add carbohydrates to my diet. Uh, in terms of adding um, protein, obviously protein powder, it's a no brainer. I can you know, very easily regulate how much protein I'm taking in each day based on how many servings of protein powder I take. Uh, and then finally, um, you know, uh, my fat's really coming from um, my dessert. So any fat that I need to make up for my macro target on fat is really coming from my dessert. Now my dessert each day is going to be a protein shake and I've got a few different recipes uh, and I'm going to share those recipes with you in the next coming videos. Um, but primarily I'm getting my fat content out of avocado blended into those protein shakes or almond butter. Almond butter is a great tasty way to get essential fatty acids into you or, or, or good quality fats into you. Uh, and the last thing is um, is a natural peanut butter. So not the, not the refined sugar enriched crap you get from you know, your spreads aisle, but if you go to a natural health store, if you go to the natural health food section in your, in your typical uh, grocery store, you'll find natural peanut butter. It's not quite as pretty, it, you know, it separates in the jar if you let it sit for too long. Um, that's the, you know, that's, that's really because it doesn't have a crap load of preservatives and all the other junk you don't want in your food. Um, so if you can get over it not looking quite as pretty, it's a hell of a lot better for you.
that's how I plan to balance out my macros. So in terms of supporting recipes, um, you know, and as I said, I'm going to um, give share with you some recipes uh, in the next few videos. Uh, but to start with, magic water. I've talked about it on this channel before. It's a really simple recipe. Um, it's so important though, in terms of what can you have while you're inside your fasting window, your 20 hour fasting window. All you can have, or all I have, and there are some other options that you can do your own research on, but I drink lots and lots and lots of water. It's really important when you're fasting to drink water um, because your, your body's going through a process of cleansing out all of the dead and dying cells, and you kind of want to flush all the toxins they release um, and the best way to flush that is with water. Um, I actually use my magic water recipe, which I'm about to show you, well, I'll, which I'll share with you towards the end of the video. Um, it just has a few extra additives like um, lime juice and, and apple cider vinegar and things like that, uh, and electrolytes. Just to help you balance out while you're fasting, you're not taking in a lot of nutrients you would otherwise be getting out of food. Um, you need to make sure that you stay hydrated because you're not getting liquids out of your food. And you need to make sure that you've got a lot of, you know, you're supplementing your electrolytes because again, you're not getting that out of food. So there's your magic water. Um, two shakes, two protein shakes I regularly go to because they contain lots of fat and carbohydrates and it's easy to tweak the mix based on the day. And my carbohydrate, or sorry, my macro requirements um, is a, I've got a peppermint um, flavored protein shake. And when I say peppermint flavored, the powder's vanilla, uh, but I'm adding some, some peppermint essence and a bunch of other stuff to make it a, a really high, high nutrient shake. And the other one is a peanut butter um, protein shake and they both taste fantastic. So I'll share those recipes with you over the over the next coming videos. Um, just one other thing I wanted to, to talk about quickly is my supplements. So while I'm fasting, um, I find that it's it's really beneficial to add some supplements into my diet. Um, just to and, and again, I only take this outside of my fasting window. Sorry, I think I missed a I was making a point about what I have while I'm fasting. So what, do I, what, what are you allowed to have while you're on an intermittent fast? Um, plain water, the magic water is okay. It's got um, basically no insulin response um, from your body, no metabolic response, so it's not gonna break your fast. Um, and coffee, plain black coffee, no milk, no sugar. Um, you know, even if you, if, if you drink a lot of coffee and you don't drink black coffee, I would encourage you to try. I've found that, um, you know, it took, took a little, it took a couple of days to get used to the, the difference in the flavor. Um, but it will work wonders for helping to suppress appetite, to keep you alert and awake throughout the day while your body's adjusting to, to migrating into a fast where it's not expecting food all the time. Um, I can't stress it enough. Black coffee with no additives, magic water, and you know, a bit of Coke No Zero is okay. And that's all you should be having. I don't even take medicines throughout my fasting window because some of those medicines will have a metabolic response. If you have a look at the back of packs, they will warn you that it contains egg products, for example. Um, you'd be surprised at what, what is used in pharmaceutical uh, grade drugs, you know, medicines um, that might break a fast. So I just don't bother taking the risk. So in terms of supplements, the things that I'm adding to my uh, to my diet during my eating window, importantly, is a really good quality multivitamin. Uh, I happen to take one that's uh, tailored for men because there is a bit of a balance difference between men and women when it comes to, to your vitamins and, and minerals. Uh, I take a probiotic, which I've talked about before, uh, just to support my gut flora, particularly where I'm not eating for such a long time and then I'm suddenly eating again, I wanna protect that. Uh, I'm also taking krill oil, so a thousand, thousand milligrams of krill oil daily. Um, so krill oil is really good for, for a range of reasons that I've actually talked about before, so I might link the video. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you quickly through my magic water recipe. This stuff is fantastic for helping you get through the day, for feeling full, for giving you the energy that you need uh, while your body's transitioning to not expecting to eat at lunchtime or breakfast or, or both uh, to cut all your snacks out. Um, you know, to have something fill your stomach is really important to help you get through some of the, the, the first couple of days you're going to feel a bit hungry during the day. Um, so. This magic water recipe a, a, you know, assists in weight loss. It contains um, lots of lime juice, which is uh, full of limonoids. And again, I've talked about this before. It contains all your electro electrolytes. So it contains Himalayan um, rock salt or pink rock salt. I don't really think it matters where it comes from, but that's what I'm using. Uh, it contains cream of, cream of tartar, uh, which is your potassium electrolytes. Uh, so that kind of covers you for your primary two, sodium and potassium. Um, and it contains apple cider vinegar, which has a thousand amazing qualities. I'd highly recommend apple cider vinegar just generally as a dietary supplement. 
So in terms of making my magic water, um, you know, I've got a few different ways of, of making, of mixing it. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter. Um, but my goal is to hit two liters of water during my fasting window. So I typically start with a little bit of, of filtered water in, in my measuring jug, um, just to make it easy to mix everything else in. Um, so, you know, pour a little bit of water into your, into your mixing jug. Uh, then I add the juice of one lime. Um, again, full of luminoids, so good for you, won't break your fast. Uh, then I add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Um, now it is diluted in two liters of water, so it's not like you're taking a shot of ACV. Um, I wouldn't recommend that. I've, I've tried that before. It's, uh, I wouldn't say it's unpleasant, but it's, it's not the best tasting stuff to drink straight. Um, so two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and then one teaspoon of cream of tartar for your potassium electrolytes and one teaspoon of uh, pink rock salt. I had to strip that word Himalayan out of my mind. I don't know why it's stuck in there. It's just the way it rolls off the tongue. Um, so I, I mix all that together and then I basically decant what I've mixed because I don't have a, you know, I use a hand juicer rather than one of those twisty ones. Um, so I need to catch it in something. I use a mixing jug. I'll decant all of that into a large two liter bottle of uh, a water bottle and then I'll fill it up to the top with filtered water. I usually make that at night after or towards the end of my eating window, whack it in the fridge so I don't have to worry about it that way the next day because I'm usually up late, disorganized as hell and late for work. So uh, I don't want to have to be cutting up limes and doing dishes and stuff in the morning. So I make it the night before, throw it in the fridge, pick it up and head straight out the door when I wake up. So that's pretty much it for the introduction. I'm gonna be using a food preparation service. It's gonna deliver frozen meals every day and I'm gonna build a meal plan around it using those, those balancing foods I talked about. The you know um, protein powder, uh, plain um, rice cakes and uh, a dessert shake. Oh, and look, Cara wants to be famous on YouTube. Make sure you don't point your daughters at the camera. Um, so in the next couple of weeks, I'm just gonna ignore her because if I throw it down, she's gonna jump back up and think it's a game. Um, so in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be releasing a, a you know two videos, two more videos um, about the start of my new intermittent fasting program. Um, not, just to, <laughs> not just to track uh, how it's been going, but um, to also show you the, the blow by blow method I use to figure out how to go from macronutrient targets to um, you know, a meal plan for the day built around a fixed, fixed, um, f fixed variable, which, which in this case is, or a, a constant, which in this case is going to be the macronutrient contents in my main meal. I am going to throw them down. Sorry, Cara. Um, so I'm, I'm basically going to release two videos. Um, they're going to each contain really short, sharp snapshots of uh, seven days each. So it's going to just be a daily five minute video telling you what I ate. Um, how I felt as I progressed through transitioning my body to intermittent fasting, um, specifically what I ate and the process I went through to figure out what to eat. So uh, in that first video, I'm going to also take you through the recipe for my peppermint protein shake. There's a million fantastic recipes on the internet. So if peppermint's not your thing, jump on the internet and grab something else. And there's Cara again, I did say she'd jump back up. Uh, and then I'm gonna release the second one. So I'm basically gonna track the first two weeks on daily snapshots. Uh, and in the second video, I'll take you through my peanut butter protein shake. Um, so that's all I wanted to cover today. Um, I, you know, in terms of, of uh, my program, I'm, I'm really hoping that this is going to get me back into the swing of things. Uh, I'm, I'm quietly confident it's going to make a, a positive difference for me. So um, if, the, if you got any use out of this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see regular updates uh, from the channel. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've used a, a food delivery service and what your experience with it, with it was. Uh, and um, until next week, uh, well, hopefully it'll only be a week in between. Uh, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.